All right, guys, so I'm bored out of my wits right now. I'm home alone. I thought I might as well go get iced coffee and then go check on packs. I have packs coming. I think I have eight of the Darkness of Blaze packs coming, but I also want to try other Dollar Tree and Dollar Store options. So we're going to go around with Casey Dog and look at Dollar Tree. So guys, for any of you that have been able to tell like the change in my demeanor when I talk, I'm sorry, uh, it's still taking me an adjustment period of time to get used to how getting off my antidepressants affect me and I feel like it's making me feel a lot, lot more tired and a little bit more out of it. That will eventually go away but I'm still dealing with small bits of withdrawal and that'll last another week or so. So I've been trying my best to really like stay as positive and happy and upbeat on the camera as possible but there are things that also make me uh, act a little different. We did turn the GLI up. We turned the boost up the other day uh, with my tuner. So we'll have to see how it feels when we take it out. I'll do a little bit of a rip, uh, but got to keep Casey dog safe. And she is down here with us. Here we going, huh? We going somewhere. <laughs> From 4,500 all the way to six grand, I think was around. I added one to two PSI. So it's more up top, but it still should add to the experience of it accelerating and feeling fast having more top end still would definitely make the car feel different i'm gonna have to data log this too for everyone also asking and wondering about the wheels because i talked about getting new wheels and tires i actually did purchase them and we have an awesome update so essentially the website that i bought from was saying that it could potentially be back ordered till march of 2021 them being the supplier koenig wasn't shipping them out as many wheels so they weren't in stock of the wheels so the wheels had to be custom i guess manufactured but then they called the manufacturing company or they checked stock i don't know what they did but they changed that so today they gave me an update that my wheels will be ready my tires will be mounted to the wheels uh weights balanced mounted that's all covered have a installation kit with the corresponding rings for the hub because the bore I think is slightly different because the Koenigs are universal so I think they use a metal one that they send and then there's 20 lug nuts that come with two for the wheels and I'm super excited because we're going to be able to have a lot of meat on these tires we went with 17 instead of 18 and instead of seven and a half they're eight wide so we got more tire touching the ground and a lot more tire in general and uh we definitely should feel the difference 100 percent. it should feel night and day i think i have a buyer for the wheels i have now and i'm still trying to sell my seats because uh race seats 100 percent on the idea of having race seats even if i have to modify seat belt warning light thing i was watching all kinds of stuff the airbag sensor that kind of stuff or i was watching online and usually you can plug them in to the car and then put a resistor at the end. All right, we're at our spot. We're gonna do one little pull to see if it, how it feels, if it feels different. That's a lot louder backfire. Let's see, here we go. That, that got a little wily um, accelerating it it really wants to pull to the right with torque steer but that that felt uh, really strong can we see the BMW on my butt I or something around there riding my ass. So we gave him a nice little pull. Alright, just for reference, if you guys want to hear the backfire real quick. Alright, we got our peppermint mocha. 
time to get some cards. I'm thinking 20 to 30 today. one to check they had absolutely nothing i thought they would have moved them to the front because they said that people were stealing them but there was nothing that's all of them. all right guys i guess that's the sign that i should only be buying 30 because out of all the places that's all i could find bought them all go home and do a video on them I gave you guys a reaction to the car, but I never gave you like an actual point of view on how it's accelerating. So up here, if I get the free chance, I'm going to show you guys some acceleration. Okay, there's a biker up here, so I pretty much lost my opportunity because I'm not going to go flying past them on a blind hill that's coming up with them biking. That's rude. And I hated when people did that to me on bikes. You might be able to do a mini roll here. do an experiment too i'm sure you guys might be wondering what a normal like tire wheel setup weighs with oem i did weigh them <laughs> yesterday they were 50 pounds but i wanted to record it just to show you guys that it is in fact 50 pounds so i'm gonna jack my car up and get one of the wheels off and weigh it on this scale <laughs> for you guys i know for a fact roughly my new wheels and tires set up my koenigs are 19 pounds and the tires they say are 20 to 21 pounds. So if you do the math, that is roughly 29, 30 pounds. Um, so I'd be shaving 20 pounds off. If that's honestly the truth, I'll have to weigh them when they get here just to make sure. So guys, I'm gonna have to sit a little weird for this, but as long as I hover, hover over top of my phone, I can actually record two screens. I forgot to tell you, I found this app really neat. I can record the cards and I can record me. So I just want to show you guys the reason why I actually pulled the trigger on all these two is these are the ones that I had really good luck with the first time around. It's where I pulled the rainbow. I am not going to be messing around with the other tag teams. I just don't like the cards in general. I don't like the look of the tag team packs. But we also got this in. We also got this package in. And I'm going to open it up for you guys and talk a little bit at the same time. So basically, we have a lot of people coming to these videos thinking, I guess, that I'm trying to be a scammer by accusing the guy of scamming. I probably shouldn't have worded it that way because um, I'm sure... People take it to heart, uh, especially people that are doing the same thing um, and don't want to be called out for it, don't want to be called scammers and stuff like that. But realistically, any type of thing that you're doing to deceive someone that's paying hard-earned money is a scam. Now, in general, I guess it wouldn't be as harsh if he charged me like around what the price was, but the price was $77.00. And I was, I was quoting $29.99, actually $20 a pack. So he made a steal off of me, weighed the packs, I'm guessing. People were saying weighing. He either weighed or if you look at the video, I'll put on screen next to this. He either weighed them or he pulled down the plastic. Uh, I'll put on screen here. I guess I was wrong too to jump to the conclusion that he resealed because technically after doing research, sealing is done 
by actually having a seal and you usually can cut along the seal and reseal on the seal. Uh, I know, but there was no like sign of a seal even on the pack. People were saying, well, that doesn't make sense. Well, I guess I didn't elaborate. There is a U shape on every single pack I have seen. If you wanna deny it, go look it up. Every single pack I've seen, every single one has at least a seal that's a U. It like dips down. Mine did the reverse. Mine did it on the back, not on the front. So it's very possible he put it on backwards and forgot um, that minor detail. But basically the story goes to sum it up as quick as possible. I contacted him. I was super, super straightforward to the point, just saying, could I get a refund? I believe that this was tampered with. I had somebody look at it that's into the uh, Pokemon card community. He basically goes 360 as soon as he responds, goes, you're a scammer. And I basically told him what I felt was a sign. Not even malicious. I wasn't even in the slightest like coming off as hostile. And he responds with, if you message me again, I will file for harassment. He basically got overly defensive. He did not even explain the idea of the pack on his profile that was a pulled pack that you can get from the seated ones. He just said basically, if you thought it was a scam, why did you open it in the first place? Because I could have gladly resold it. Now, I guess that is true. If I wouldn't have broken the seal and opened it up, I sent it back as best as possible. I, I wrapped it up, wrapped everything up as best as I could wholeheartedly. I, I will take fault for that too. That was my, my deal. I didn't even realize at the time though, when I opened it, I didn't realize like what to even look for. I knew resealing was a thing for me in PA. It's almost impossible. I've called every single Walgreens around here, four to five locations and they're out of stock. So for me, when I purchased that, I was like, it's worth it because it's convenient to at least be able to get a pack. If there weren't so many red flags, I probably would have just not even of realized even if it was a thing. I sent a video to somebody that I actually used to buy Pokemon cards from as a kid. And he is pretty much a pro at looking for this kind of stuff because he told me basically uh, it's, it's pretty easy to do. And a lot of people that he worked with that did the same thing were doing the scams. People were easily pulling packs um, and doing that kind of stuff and making them look like nothing was wrong, especially with when they started to introduce the mystery packs. So it's been around for a long time. To sum it up, I was in the wrong with certain things I did. eBay, I will not be purchasing off of eBay anymore. I will be finding ones at legitimate sites. I won't be weighing them in stores because that's wrong. I would not weigh out a pack to tell if it comes with an extra pack and then resell the other packs that, that you know for a fact aren't worth anything and sell them for four times on eBay. So I just had to get that out of the way. So many people were saying it and I just had to give my take. So let's get back. He said about, about harassment. I'm not gonna give you a refund, you can wait. I'm gonna close it out and you'll have to go through eBay, you'll have to talk to eBay and get them involved. All right, fine, I'm not gonna message him. Didn't even think I was being ag aggressive at all. I was strictly just telling him how I felt the uh, condition and how you can tell like different things were kind of out of place. And the fact that he had a platinum pack, which he never responded to. So two hours of him sending that message and me not responding, he issued a refund. So I'll have to give even more feedback then when we find out what actually happens with everything going on. I don't know if once it gets refunded, if he can refuse the refund or something like that and try to push this further. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what was going on. All right, sorry for the ramble. I'm gonna have to cut a lot of that out. <laughs> But we have 30 packs of Sword and Shield, and now I want to switch back to the double camera and show you guys uh, what I have in this other bag. Coming straight from Amazon, uh, pretty late actually, we have this. I wanted to uh, continue the search for these cards. So they're wrapped in this nice little container. What I'm talking about, guys, is uh, Darkness Ablaze. Darkness Ablaze packs. I gotta get that Charizard, you know what I mean, guys? We gotta find that Charizard, because it's out there somewhere. Um, people have done videos on YouTube where they keep going until they get the Charizard. So in here we have, these are actually full packs. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to be doing the method that you guys know and love. So far, guys, we will do a uh, reshowing. Those are the good cards we have. Now on to more. I really need to get a table. I used to have tables down here. Now I'm like scrambling around to find ways to give you guys the best viewpoint of opening 
So fun fact for anyone wondering, when I actually, when I went to the store, there was this girl that was decently attractive and uh, she was like, people still play with those? Um, and then I realized that I was buying cards as an adult uh, when this is usually, I mean, don't discriminate, but this is a kid's game more or less. So that actually took a <laughs> hit to my self-esteem. I was explaining to her the resale value on them and why people actually still get them, especially at my age. And uh, she was like, yeah, there's a lot of people that come in here and buy them. Um, I was starting to wonder what the whole hype was about them. So I'm on my bed right now, if you guys can see that in the background. Uh, that's the easiest way for me to just lean over. Not break my back doing this, because I've been doing that lately too. I have six of the Snorlax, seven of the Lapras, four the Shield Boy, and seven of the Sword. If you remember guys, these were actually where we pulled the rainbow from, so I'm gonna hold them off to last. Uh, I just wanna let you guys know, if you're trying to get into the trading card game, reselling, buying, or just collecting, definitely let me know. Uh, I can do giveaways with these. These are uh, pretty simple giveaways to do. So I don't know about you guys, but I actually find that watching this kind of stuff is kind of therapeutic. It's kind of relaxing. It's kind of like an ASMR type deal. I watch a lot of these card openings on YouTube, actually. We're gonna start last with these bad boys. So we're gonna throw them to the back. All right, you guys ready? Flip them around. We have a rye horn. Rookity, Hyper Potion, nothing there. Nurchin, a Holographic Gengar, Ball Toy, Chin Chow, Double, Galarian Ponyta, Drew, Drew Naw, Sea King. What do you guys think? What are we gonna pull today? Are we gonna pull something good? Silicobra, Yamper, Thwacky, Nicket, Chin Chow, Beady. BD. BD holographic is worth something. I don't know. We'll set that to the side then. Mudbray. Verse Hollow Galarian Preserker. Rare. Team Yell Grunt. Um, okay, that's an uncommon too. I have to make sure about these trainer cards. I'm going to set them all to the side. Cottony. Score Bunny. Energy, so nothing so far, nothing crazy. So I'm gonna do just a speed type deal of opening up all these so you guys don't have to see one by one necessarily because it's gonna get old and there's going to be a lot of them. I am doing this too. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna take out all the Snorlax next and open those because that is what we got last time. That was the first Rainbow I've ever pulled. It started. Silicobra. What do you guys think? Is it in this? Yamper. The Wacky. I'm specifically just looking for any type of rainbow. V-card, V-max, whatever. Just something that sticks out. Cottony. Choodle. Galarian Stunfisk. And we have Krabby. Reverse Hollow Pow Pad. Okay. Rotom Bike. Muna. Galarian Rapidash. Doug Drio. So our luck isn't too hot from these packs. Maybe my luck is in that other that other Dollar Tree that was sold out of them. So I asked the lady too. She said it's mostly a weekly thing. Uh, weekly, they unload the trucks in the back. Ward and shield. Whew, deep breath. Let's hope for something. Galarian Ponyta. Tortinator. Sea King. Nothing in that. Krabby. Grookey, energy, nothing in that. Hype in the chat, boys. Can we do something? Can we can we manage something this time? Our last time wasn't that great of a pull either. Grookey, reverse hollow chin chow. Lucky egg. Okay. Machino. <sighs> Holy shit. Is that a rainbow or is that just how it's... I'm actually shaking. Wow. I, the colors are in a rainbow fashion. I'll have to check this. <laughs> like I said, I always put the, the things on screen, but that is um, Big Charm. Snob. Reverse Hollow Drapion. Switch. Grookey. 
Cufit. Lucky Egg. Sobble. Mark Cactus. Drizzle. 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 Drizzly. All right. These are the last ones. I saved these for last because I thought they were going to be really, really good luck, but now I'm thinking that's going to be our, our good pull for the day. Let's flip it around. Ball Toy. Chinchow. Energy. Cottony. Score Bunny. Energy. Maybe Sizzlipede. Galarian Zigzagoon. Energy. Pawnard. Score Bunny. Ordinary Rod. Ordinary Rod. Hell yeah. Quabapus. Reverse Hollow. Ryorn. Energy. So it seems to be around 28 to 30 packs, you have a lot higher chance of getting something really good. Our finds today, starting with the best pull, more Peko. Then we have Drapion Chinchow. We have a Trainer Pow Pad that is a reverse. Larian Preserker, which is a reverse. A regular Hollow Gengar, which I feel like should be worth a couple dollars. Maywile, same with this a Rangaroo, maybe? Marnie should actually be a decent pole. Uh, we got her favorite pokey. Rhyhorn, reverse hollow. Uh, so that's that's all the pulls. But that was an actually amazing pull. All right, guys, I'm going to end it off here. Uh, and I'm going to continue this tomorrow. I actually ordered a Pokeball tin. I ordered a huge promo pack the thunderous and then i also got a three pack of sun and moon and i think it's the original sun and moon packs that are out of print now so that's really cool i just realized that there is another like 30 minutes of pulling darkness ablaze packs and everything else so i'll just put them all together as a huge haul tomorrow i don't want to take up any more of you guys' time because it's already 20 21 minutes long i try to edit down as much as i can so sorry for a super long video but hopefully you guys made it to the end i love you make sure to be happy stress less i'll see you in the next one as always ah.